What is a brain? That's a philosophy question. It makes decisions about how fast you should be breathing right now. But it also makes decisions that are much more profound, like what shall I do with my life? I'm Tim Behrens, I'm a neuroscientist. I'm interested in understanding the computations, the algorithms that the brain uses uh, to control our behavior. Our neurons represent the world around us, learn about it and make decisions in the world. I think very broadly, there are two areas of how our brain controls our behavior that we roughly understand. There's how our brain maps out physical space, and there's how our brain chooses to repeat behaviors that have been good in the past. But of course, that leaves a huge amount of our behavior that we don't understand how those algorithms are working. And my work is really trying to fill those gaps. We've really uh, shown that the very same cellular responses describe non-spatial types of scenarios as happen to, to help you navigate around space. When you make a coffee, you have a sequence of actions that you know you have to achieve in order to get the coffee into the cup. Those kinds of models of the causes and outcomes, we just need those in order to guide our everyday behaviors. And what I'm interested in is how those kinds of models of the world are represented by cells in your brain. Understanding those algorithms will teach us something deep about ourselves, but it'll also be useful in understanding what goes wrong in diseases of the brain, where the effect is on behavior, like depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, psychosis. Understanding the neural mechanisms that control those behaviors are going to give us ways of understanding what types of drugs or where we should be intervening in order to make a big difference to those diseases. It'll also be useful because the brain has algorithms in it that we don't understand and uh, that are better than the algorithms that are used in current artificial intelligence uh, systems. And so uh, we hope that by understanding some of those algorithms that happen in our brain, we'll be able to help on both of those two fronts. I think that it's unlikely that I'm going to be the person that cures Alzheimer's, and I think it's equally unlikely that I'm going to be the person that invents the next AI algorithm to solve the world. But I hope that in 10 years' time, the people that do that will be thinking about some of the ideas that I'm thinking about now. There have been, in 20 years, a few times when I've sat up and gone, wow, and those times are the reasons that you're a scientist you feel like you know something that nobody else in the world knows for a short period of time, which is exciting.